Oh, YouTube, <clears throat> D. Baudry here. Little tiny update. Uh, I'm sure everybody's deeply fascinated with my bearing saga. <clears throat> yeah. So this D. Baudry saying stay safe and all that kind of shit. But hey, let me talk about some bearings. Um, so that's a 6203 Timken. Uh, you know the the uh, 2RS uh, C3 uh, bearing that um, was supposed to be a 6206. So that was my mistake. Figured that a little while ago. I just bought the wrong one on Amazon. So anyway, a real Timken uh, 6206 C3 bearing, 2R, or rather 2RS C3, uh, you know, seals in high precision is on its way. Didn't cost me much, cost me 20 bucks. Uh, so, you know, <clears throat> that's mine. I don't ever, you know, try to make people take shit back when I make the mistake. That's mine. <laughs> you know, $20 bearing that I uh, don't have a use for. Dummy me. All right, so let's talk about this uh, top bearing. So this is the uh, top bearing that came out of the uh, quill assembly. And uh, let's put this on video here. Let me get the microphone real close. Probably will come across there. You can hear like little crunchies in there. Um, and when I roll it on my fingers, now that it's all washed out, uh, I can feel you know you know no improvement in the bearing at all. Uh, you know from the way it was before with the seal with the shields on it. And uh, this plate, this glass plate, was all cleaned off. Um, and then I've poured off the liquid after I collected the metal out of it. And it probably won't even show up on camera, but there's a little speck right there. You know, let me put my hand behind it. You probably still can't see it. But right there, there's a little tiny speck of metal that came out of the bearing when I washed it out with brake cleaner. Um, and, you know, now it's completely dry inside. And, yeah, there's still crunchies in there. So looking at the actual shields, uh, this side's got a little bit of grease on it. And this side here has got none at all. Uh, and when I looked inside the bearing, it was the same way. So one side of the cage uh, had grease on it, and the other side was pretty dry. But the balls themselves were lubricated, so I'm not too worried about that. You know, it's just... It was just simply the bearing didn't get like full of grease, um, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, the only way this would have happened uh, with with this bearing being crunchy like it is now, and there being no metal in the bearing when I washed it out, you know, other than that little tiny speck, is if this thing was bad straight from the factory, and and, and it was just simply a miss uh, from their QA people, you know, they just didn't do any checking to make sure the bearings weren't shit, because otherwise, when I washed out, that bearing should be full of metal. Because, you know, the, the, the balls or the races are definitely pitted. I can feel it crunchy in my fingers. Uh, so anyway, just for FYI, if anybody wants to know about these folks, um, it says on here, uh, Romania, and then wherever it is. There it is. It says right there, ERB. So whoever that Romanian bearing manufacturer, you are, or sorry, yeah, ERB is, um, uh, oops, I said that wrong. So uh, URB, not ERB. So whoever those guys are, all I'm going to say is, well, your QA wasn't very good because, you know, this bearing clearly went through your system, came out the other side, um, wasn't greased very well, and then the balls were just pitted and shit <laughs> straight from the factory. This didn't fail in use. This failed, you know, before it ever even got out the door. It is crunchy. The uh, balls are clearly not running smooth. Uh, yeah, that was just a shitty bearing that just walked right out your door and did not get properly uh, tested before it walked out the door. Uh, otherwise, the bearing would have been full of metal, and there's absolutely no evidence of that on my plate. There's just a little tiny speck. And, and you know, this plate was clean when I started, and it's only washed out that bearing. All right, this bearing, however, that's the lower bearing on the quill. That's made by a company in Taiwan called TPI. I've bought their brand before, and they're usually pretty decent. Um, and it's silky smooth. There's no crunchiness in it. It's uh, perfectly good. So, you know, being this is a deep groove ball bearing, you know, there's a little bit of, of lateral movement in here. Because, uh, you know, this is a radial bearing, obviously. So it will allow the unit race to move a little bit like this. Um, but radially speaking, there is no movement in there. I could put that bearing back in and probably be fine. But I have a 6206 2RS C3 uh, Timken bearing coming to replace it. Because this one is just a standard use bearing, it's not a precision bearing. So anyway, uh, better bearing coming for that. And then I can put this uh, quill assembly back together again. And I should have completely eliminated all of that crunchy sound I was hearing from the top uh, when I'd run, thanks to a crunchy bearing. Well, this is Dubadri saying stay safe, keep away from the damn SARS virus, uh, keep well, take care, hope that helps somebody.